In this lecture, I am going to tell you how you can use jQuery sortable to change the sort order of an element in your application. I have this sortable.html file and I opened that file in the code editor. Now let's search jQuery sortable on Google and then let's click on this link which is jQueryUI.com slash sortable and here we have this sample sortable element. And to get the code, we need to click on this view source link and I will copy the code from here and I will paste that code inside our HTML file. And then I will remove these style links from here and I will add HTTPS before this link. And now let's open this file with Google Chrome and let's see what we have now. So we have this sample sortable element and we can sort the element and then let's open the code and check how it is working. So we have this ul of id sortable and we have this alias inside this ul and to make this alias sortable what we need to do we need to call sortable method to the parent element of this ali which is this ul and we are calling this sortable method to this selector right and we are able to call this sortable method because we have this jquery ui library here now we can sort the element but we don't have any track which element is in which position right so to get the track I mean to get the position of each element what we need to do we need to add id to each element so let's add id to each element suppose the id of this element is post hyphen 1 so this will be dynamic in our case I am providing the ID hard coded here. Then let's add ID to each element one by one. So I added ID to each element. I am telling you that you can also use div instead of this ul and elis. So I added id to each element. Now to get the position of each element, so what we need, we need to do, we need to pass an object inside this sortable method. I will cut this code from here and I will put this code inside this body tag at the bottom, right? So inside this sortable method, we can provide an object and we can provide the axis here because we are shorting the element with y axis that's why I'm providing axis y and then we can call update method so instead this update method we can get the callback function here and we'll get the event and we can get the ui and to get each element and its position what we can do we can call sortable method with serialize right and we'll get the data to this data variable and I'm consoling the data here now let's refresh this URL and let's open our developer console and let's sort the element so I'm putting this item one at seventh position Let's see what we have right now you see we have this element of id2 in the first position element of id3 in the second position so we have successfully sorted the data right and we are getting the data i mean we are getting the element with its id in the console so if you want to update the sorting position of your element in the back end then what you can do you can call an ajax with the data i'm passing the serialized data to the backend so you need to provide your backend url and you'll get the serialized data in your backend through request object so in your backend you need to call for each loop and you'll get the data to request object and the key will be post you can modify the this key as per your project requirement 
so you will get data to request object and this will be an array so you need to call for each loop and then you can get the position and you will get the post id and we can update each post inside this for each loop so you can use i mean you can use any other backend technologies like node.js or php as per your project requirement so inside this for each loop you can update the short order or short position for each post id right so you can write your own logic in the backend so i'm just telling you how it will get the short position on short value in the backend so that's it from the front end with jquery shortable package so if you like the video you can subscribe my channel for latest videos so stay connected